welcome back to a new lesson and a new section. We're talking about some preset effects um, that After Effects comes with. And I'm just going to go through some of my favorites and show you how they work. Basically, all the effects kind of work the same, where you just apply them to a layer and then you, you can edit them, tweak them, adjust. Um, but uh, some are more preset and today I'm going to be talking about some preset text effects. So first I'm going to write out a sentence just to give you an idea. So these are some preset text effects. So back in action. So we have these are some preset text effects. In your effects and presets you'll notice this animation presets drop down menu. Go ahead and drop that down and there is a text option. Now these are tons of three, like 3D, non-3D text effects. Let me just show you basically a couple of them and you'll get the idea and you can go through the rest. Decoder fade in, this is a really cool one. So you just click, drag, and drop it onto our text. As you can see, our text disappears. If you press U while you have your layer selected, you'll notice that there are now two keyframes. And that, those are automatic keyframes set by the preset effect. If I render this out, you'll see what is basically going on with this animation. So you'll see that it's kind of popping in like a decoder. It's going searching through the letters, and when it finds the right one, it pops up. So it's taking a little bit of time to load and play, but you'll get the, pick, the idea. Really cool effect. I've used this when I was making a uh, sort of how-to commercial for some police company that had some new software. So pretty cool. Um, to get rid of an animation effect, you want to make sure that you go under and delete the animator. So you might have to close, close the layer and then reopen it to see the animator. Just delete that. Okay, I'm going to make this quality half, so maybe it renders a little bit faster next time. All right, so now let's do, uh, we'll try this pop buzzwords. As you can see, we got some keyframes coming up. So now this one is going to pop some buzzwords every 15 seconds or 15 frames and so let's see if we have some you have more options you can change the path you can I believe you should be able to change the text hello let's see so yeah you can change the you can basically change the text by just going in, in and changing it. When you change a, a word, a new text pops up. A new keyframe down here. So let's watch this. Render it out. Hello. Way to go. So you'll see, you get the picture. Okay, let me do another one. So here is some text. Let me make it a little bigger so you can see it better. All right, let's do something a little bit more smooth. Slow fade on. Click my layer, press U to see the keyframes, render it out. So this one, it just makes this nice sl slow fade on. So that those are some animate in um, options. There's tons more up here, as you can see. Let's do an animate out one just to show you what that is. So we'll do stretch out each word. So again, you can see the keyframes, and you can increase or decrease the length of the keyframes to make it slower or faster. So there you have it, the text flying away stretching away okay then you have all sorts of other text options so let's do this pulsing strokes under fill and stroke 
you'll see here it kind of bounces. So all these effects are kind of good for um, you know music videos or motion graphics or kinetic typography, something like that. So let's look under organic. So let's try this chewing gum. I haven't even looked at all of these honestly because um, there's just so many. So crazy effects. Um, so these are all things that you could build out on your own using stretching and change in size and you know, opacity and all sorts of things like that. But these preset effects make it so easy to to add cool effects. I use a lot of the anime in and anime out. Let's just look at the 3D text to show what that looks like. We'll do a 3D flip in rotate in rotate X. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. All right. Well, I hope you get the gist of that. Three. Uh, text preset effects under text under animation presets in your effects and presets, fo presets folder. Thank you for watching and have a great day.